Hi, it's Anthony from okplay.com and today we're checking out VR covers, lens protectors for the Oculus Quest 2. This is uh, an accessory that's been out for a number of weeks now. Uh, they did send me it some time ago, but because I'm not really much of a glasses wearer, I thought if I'm gonna do actually any justice in covering this product in review, but seeing that it's a, quite a slow news review week, um, I thought I'd bring this out and show you what you get, how you fit it, and what my impressions are of them compared to other alternative options that are out there. So in the box you get um, a nice little handy carry case that keeps the lenses all protected. Uh, the lenses are made of high quality Triton with blue light coating filters. So if you have any eye strain issues or you fancy playing at night or you're actually quite sensitive to blue light, then you can attach these and that will help with them too. They're anti-smudge coating, so that gives you less fingerprints on the actual lenses itself. Scratch resistant coating keeps the lenses in good condition for longer, so that's good. And you don't need any tools to install them, they just literally click on. On the back, you've got um, just what you actually get in the box itself, how to fit it, and uh, you can use a QR code to watch a video on how to install it as well. You get a free cleaning cloth, which is obviously what you will need. 100% to clean the lenses before applying the new covers. And inside, you've got uh, the lenses itself. Nothing else comes in the box. And let's have a look at the lenses. So uh, there's only one type, they're not magnetic. Um, although if I were to do that, no, not much changes there. So they are pure glass, obviously, but with the blue light filter to help reduce any blue light should you wish be sensitive to that, or if you suffer with eye strain. So you get this little cleaning cloth, which is really nice to take the, the dust off it a little bit. So you can actually get them good for when you put them on. Uh, there's slight little ridges on the inside. So they clip onto the lenses of the Quest 2 and obviously help protect the lenses. It won't protect them if you do like sunlight and things like that. So be wary that you still need to sort of look after your Quest lenses in that regard, but this will actually help them from any glasses wearers. If you have to share their headset with anyone, this will help them protect them as well. And you can't put prescription in them, but um, I don't know if you can actually take the glass out, but it looks a bit tricky to do that. So they're not really for prescription as such, more to do with protection. So um, if you are sharing your Quest headset with anyone that uses wireframe glasses, then I would probably recommend buying something like this to help protect your lenses from being scratched, um, especially in that sense. So we've cleaned the back of them and then we're just gonna get our Quest. If you take the facial interface off, because we won't be needing that just yet. And um, it's just a simple case of, there we go, left. Oh, that is a right, okay. So this is the right one. There's a very faint little R there on the, on the corner. With the right one all in alignment, you basically push that down and it basically goes over the top of the lenses as well. So I'm pulling at them now and it's quite hard to pull them off. So that's good. They're going to stay on there without any problem. And then the right one, make sure that you line them up right. So these grooves are sort of horizontal and then we push that down. It doesn't clip into place like the A and VR ones, but at least uh, they keep them protected. I've still got a bit of dust in there. I should have, what you should do is clean the lenses and don't use a cloth like a t-shirt or anything like that. Make sure you use a microfiber cloth and then push them back on top. Again, clean the other lens and then Pop that back on top. And there you go, that's the lenses fitted. Pretty cool. Obviously they're gonna make them a bit higher now. So if you're using a very thin PU leather pad, you really wanna be careful uh, that your eyelashes and things like that might get a bit too close to these now. So you might need to get a bit of a thicker padding the next one up that you might be using. They normally come in pairs of two. So you might want to apply the thicker one. Again, you could use a glasses spacer with this to bring your eyes a bit further back. 
uh, to cater for how much higher that these will actually sit on. If I take one of them off, you can see the height difference. So you want to be wary that you're probably going to be just over half a centimeter closer to your eyes. But then once fitted, at least it keeps them protected from any scratches and scrapes. And then your interface slaps back on top and then you're good to go. And that is the VR cover lenses. A few moments later. Uh, just watching it with them both, I've got one on and one off, so I'm switching my eyes. I really can't tell the difference in terms of the blue light. Um, changing any colouring in, in the actual vision itself. So that's good that these don't actually change the colour uh, that you are seeing. It's just going to be the blue light that they're, they're going to affect. But it doesn't make them any sort of like colder in colour in the um, actual operation of the actual display. So that's good. And I've got quite like long eyelashes. Uh, they're not brushing the glass here. Uh, this is a thicker pad though. So if I were to use a thinner one, I'm pretty sure my eyelashes will start touching that screen. But with this medium or the lowest thickness pad of the VR cover, um, my eyelashes aren't touching the edges of this glass here. So that's, that's all good. So if you're looking for some protection on your Quest 2 lenses and you don't want something that really completely changes them, or if you're looking for blue light filters or just generally ones that can protect your lenses, then give these VR cover a check out. Uh, they might be just for you. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and give us a like if you found some value in this video. You can check out all my other headset accessories up in this playlist up here. Hit the subscribe button down below to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.